weeks ago, I did a little experiment moving everything from my passion planner over into an index card system. It's based off of the 12 week year, a little bit of sidetracked home executives and the passion planner. And in this video, I'm going to tell you how it's been going for the last six weeks. I still have six weeks left to go. So I'll share a little bit about what I'm going to do moving forward. I did this already in a live stream format because I am on a boat. Starlink didn't hold up all the way through, so I'm going to go ahead and record this for you to make it a little bit easier to, to listen and watch me. Um, so in the in moving everything over, uh, the biggest takeaway that I had was that it is allowed me to laser focus in on my goal. Whereas before, if I was using a passion planner, even my phone or making to-do lists, it's a lot of items all in the front. But when you're using this card system, what you're doing is you're taking one single card and then it has that one item on it and space for you to take notes on what it is that you're working on. And of course, they don't have a blank card in front of me right now that is. So just imagine that this is, this is the blank one. Uh, so you have the one blank card and the nice thing is I have all of these available for you in the planner card system that is in a link below that you can download print cut out and get started with I don't have the just date dividers for free but you can make those yourself so these are like the monthly cards or the dates that divide your planner cards into it I do have it on Etsy for just three dollars and then I have a discount code below that you can save 25% off for but that'll just get you started and going right away so you're focused in on the one specific card that's in front of you and that's what you're working on and I have found that to make a huge difference and then also I have these weekly card setups this has been really nice too and this is my biggest takeaway from the 12 week gear is the idea of doing the lead versus lag score where you are writing down the items you need to get done each week in order to reach that big 12 week end of the year goal. And whatever you don't accomplish for the week, um, or what you do accomplish, you get a score. So for example, if you have five things to do, you only do three, it's three out of five score, and then you measure um, the lag metrics next to it. So you can look at, this is what it was I was able to get done, and then this is the results off of that. So for example, if your goal is to lose weight and you say, I'm going to lose weight by walking 10,000 steps every day, what you would then do is measure how many days a week you were able to get that 10,000. And it'd be out of seven, and then next to it, how much weight did you lose? And so you can see, oh, by not doing those four days, I wasn't able to lose X amount of pounds. So it really motivates you to be on top of it the next week. Um, for this um, example, when I went away on vacation, I didn't have any items that I needed to get done. And so I had on just nothing on the lead metrics and on the lag. I had the week prior to those metrics versus what it was that I um, was experiencing experiencing in this week without doing any of those items. And that was really eye-opening too. So just the, the like analytic or just the, I don't know, something about numbers and having, again, just something really tangible to look at has been very, very helpful. Um, going along the lines as far as the week goes, um, these are placed behind each of the dates. Another thing I wanted to mention that's a little bit off subject, but really fun that I mentioned in the live stream was that my year for the date dividers is coming up. I encourage you to make this yourself or like I said, buy the just date dividers. Um, and each day, uh, that date, um, you write down something important that happened and you can do that with your 12 week goal. So something that maybe you're doing every day, you're tracking yourself. But for this example, what I was doing, cause this goes with my just get started card deck for a home executives, um, the home management system, I write down something of note for each of the days and it's coming up on my one year and it's just been really, really fun. <laughs> Uh, so that goes in there with it. And then the month two, planning ahead on each month since we are starting over in August. If you're able to write down all the important dates that are coming up, that also really helps because like, for example, with that vacation coming up, I was able to see, oh, these weeks are not gonna do so great on because those are the vacation days. Also, if you're doing some kind of content creation or anything around marketing, it's really fun to see like a silly date. So um, making those of note, so you've got your days, the dates, and then you have your months, and then the weeks are part of the planner card system. Um, and then finally, the plan. 
the plan card, it goes at the back of your card deck. And if all of this is making no sense to you, watch my video about the planner card system that I detail like how to do it. Um, and then maybe that'll help you out. <laughs> but the planner card is a part of the, it has, I use it, you can do whatever you want with it, but I use it with the brainstorming section of the passion planner where you're going over your game changer. You're saying this is the main goal that I wanna work towards. This is how I wanna feel. And then based off of that, you have your actions branched off of it where you're really just like thinking about things. What is it that I can do? So you start off with this, the main goal is here in the center and it's branching off. And then from there you fill out those weekly cards. And then from the weekly cards, you fill out the main index cards where it's just the one item that you're working on. Each of these cards has like a light um, dot grid on it too. So I just like that because I like being able to write in straight lines and I also don't like straight up lines. It's a really light gray and that way, um, I don't know, it's just aesthetically pleasing and you can kind of get creative with it too. So anyway, uh, the big takeaways is the numbers game. I really like playing the numbers game. It's always been effective with me, especially like when I was doing my walking challenges, anything where I'm able to like play with numbers, look at data and then adjust has just been really fun. Um, having the one card sitting in front of me really makes me stay focused and I found it to be super effective. And then, so moving on to some of the things I'm going to change with the next six weeks. Um, one of the issues I had was that I have a lot of cards that I didn't get to. <laughs> and I don't think it was bad because for the most part, I'm really happy with the work that I've done. I think it was more of like over, like, do too much kind of a thing where I wasn't really thinking about how long things were going to take me and turns out making cards designing cards putting them up changing the marketing and then making videos takes me like three times longer than I thought it would so um, I have to adjust that one of the things that I did do that I mentioned in the cards that has been really helpful is that I put the estimated time up in the corner of the card the task card and below that, I've been kind of taking notes on when it is that I'm working on things. And that way it gives me an idea of how long actually things take. Um, and I know there's a number of programs that you can use online or on your computer, but again, there's something really helpful about having it be tangible where I'm writing it down and taking notes. Um, and then, so I have all these products or all these cards that I need to decide whether or not I'm going to keep or I'm going to recycle. Um, but the nice thing is, going back to another pro about this system, is that if you don't get to an item on your to-do list, like these cards didn't just transfer over to the next day. I realized, oh, I don't have time to do them tomorrow, so they're going to be shuffled into like two days from now or next week. Um, so that's been very helpful. And then also, um, having enough room to write notes on is another thing I want to move forward because I find that writing things down is really, really helpful. And so if you put your action item and a bunch of like little things below it, which I did to get started with, like action items that you need to complete that one single card action items, I found that that's kind of, it's not as helpful. So making sure you have plenty of room to write notes as you're working on the item at hand. Also creating uh, categories for each of your action item cards. Um, I now have the category that the action item is underneath. For example, if it's a product that I need to make or if it is a video. If you're doing walking, it could be something like um, a class that you're taking or maybe a YouTube video or another category card could be something more along the lines of like um, finding audiobooks or audiobook notes. I don't know. So adding the category has also been helpful because then at the beginning of the week, I'm able to see like, oh, how many items do I have for a video? Oh, that's too many videos. I'm going to put it into the next week. So it's again, it's just very highly visual and um, I really like it. So anyway, that's the base overview. Another th few things that I mentioned in the live stream that is coming out is that I have a fun card deck. I have the contacts coming out, which I didn't put in the original Just Get Started card deck. And that is because I didn't use them when I just got started. I didn't put it until we moved on the boat. And it was just something that encouraged me to write snail mail to people. And that was, it's like a legit old school Rolodex where you've got the name, address, phone number, any information on people. And then you file it behind 
the or in front of the letter and then you can also file it in front of dates that you want to make sure that you're writing to people and that you're sending out it's really helpful for birthdays um, so that's going to be coming out the just fun just want to have fun card deck that was one that I'm really excited about because it goes along the lines of the artist date and it's something that I have a really hard time doing because like she says um, Julia Cameron she says that morning pages are people tend to like them a lot because they're hard work it makes you feel uncomfortable whereas having fun is you feel guilty about it and um, so this is also encouraging you to plan ahead and so all of these are going to come up on the Etsy shop just I think you can follow the shop or just like subscribe here and you can get updates on when they're coming up um, but they're more like fun tasks and it just helps you stay organized and make sure that you actually do the fun thing that's going to help you stay creative and um, enjoying life so anyway, that's my review on the last six weeks. A couple things that I'm going to do um, differently moving forward. And next time I pick a goal, I'd like to pick a goal that I can actually share with you and like be, I don't know, I don't want to share just because it's a little like, if it doesn't work out, I'll feel stupid. <laughs> so anyway, um, next time I'll be more forthcoming with what it is that I'm doing. My 12 weeks are up at the end middle of September. I think it's September 17th. Um, so anyway, thanks guys. Subscribe. And next time I wish I could do this on a live stream. I wanted to make it a full video where I'm not doing any cuts or any like additional things just because I find them more personable. Um, but yeah, I, in the live stream, I was like eh, 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 cutting out. So it's not very enjoyable. So here is a full video on the boat and, um, chit chatting about the planner cards. All right. Thanks guys. Bye.